From David Lynch to Martin Scorsese to Jennifer Kent, these are just a few of the directors that make me desperate to watch everything they create. That's also how I feel about game developer Bilge Khan. After bursting onto the scene with the weird 2D platformer Indecision, Bilge is back with a bizarre follow-up adventure about creating a new game. It's a short and wildly creative mashup of genres that gives us a look at the frustration of game design, while also making a strong case that this is a developer that you should definitely be paying close attention to. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to describe Sticker. The official synopsis reads that it's a game about making this game, and that's sort of what you get. We're told right at the start that Bilge wants to release his next game in six months. But what does that entail? And more importantly, can we shoot the words to make the deadline go away? The answer to the second question is no, but that's not going to stop me from trying. Now, unlike the 2D platforming fun of Indecision, Sticker is a lot less focused. This is by design because so much of the adventure revolves around just trying to figure out what type of game you want to make next. This is the kind of game where you literally jump from a platformer to a weird racing game, which will then effortlessly transition into an overhead shoot 'em up against a big red ball. Simply put, Sticker is a series of skits that come together to create a weird meta-narrative. That means that you'll spend a few minutes riding a deer while playing a version of Pong with a basketball. You'll get shot up by a monochromatic mosquito and explore the open worlds while carrying a big, unruly sword. All this may sound random, but it mostly comes together in this 40-minute quest to develop a new game. But will this appeal to everybody? No, probably not. This has a very specific sense of humor and sensibility that definitely won't be for everybody. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that it won't be for most people. This is a thoroughly unconventional journey that left me scratching my head. It's a mood piece that has something to say, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. You figure it out. What I can tell you is that I love the path that led me down. Sticker feels like I'm crawling inside the developer's head while they brainstorm ideas for the next game. It understands how the creative process can be simultaneously frustrating and satisfying. And this game feels like it's basically all of Bilge's ideas mashed into one crazy adventure. Is it madness? Maybe, but it's also a brilliantly constructed mess that's going to stick with me for a long time to come. So is Sticker a platformer, a racing game, a shoot 'em up or a puzzle game? The answer is yes, all of the above, and it's a whole lot more. This new game from Bilge Khan allows you to see the creative process in action given the players a taste of just how frustrating it can be to make a follow-up game. This 40-minute ride tackles a lot of different genres in ways you'd never expect, creating a random adventure where literally anything could happen next. Eh, perhaps it won't be for everybody, but as far as I'm concerned, the world needs a lot more games like Sticker. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. In fact, we have a playlist with almost 600 reviews, so you should go and check that out. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is an obscure game you wish more people would play? I don't know, maybe it's something that only appeals to you, but let me see your obscure picks in the comments below. In other news, I'm still ramping up reviews after Battle in the Flu. So what we have is a crazy mix of recent games to get through. I'm currently working through some of the smaller titles, but expect some more mainstream reviews in the near future. In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.